Okay, so here we have our database, right? Now, let's go ahead and see exactly what's inside of it. This may be your first time looking at this type of thing, right? So just do a who am I inside of the execution section of our Docker container. We're going to see that we are, in fact, root for this container. Now, switching over into our Postgres instance, okay, we can list out all of the different databases that we have within this container. So there's three different databases. Our current database is called Postgres, okay? So we just select current database, and you see that we are Postgres. Now, within databases, you have tables, and within tables is where we put our records. But you'll see that when we display tables, there is no table there. So we will need to create a table called users, and there will be a username, which will be a various character, let's say 24 limit, with a unique value, and it can't be empty. It's not null, okay? We're also going to have a password. I'll make a var car of 64. You'll see why here coming up soon. And we want to make sure that is also not null. You can go ahead and close that up. And now when we display tables, you can see that we have the users table. Going into some more detail on users, there you see we have username and password as the fields that we can put into this table.